white magpies are so rare you've probably never seen one before. There just happens to be one though lurking around the CTV station. It's been here a few months and we finally caught it on camera. While their white feathers make them unique, it is not necessarily a good thing. Kathy Lee explains why. Perched high on a roof and almost out of sight. This white magpie is so rare, it took our CTV team weeks to finally capture it on camera. This one here was just perched on the fence. Sandra Penny was also lucky enough to spot it on Signal Hill. In fact, she's seen it a few times. I said to my husband one day, that doesn't look like a magpie, but, but yet it does. Unlike its black and blue counterparts, the white magpie is light with some brown. But don't mistake it for an albino magpie. The scientific term is leukistic magpie. An albino bird you would see would have the pink eyes, the complete lack of pigment, and the birds, the magpies that you're seeing, they do have a bit of that melanin, that darker pigment. The birds just don't have the ability to disperse the pigments to all of its feathers. And because it's a recessive trait, there's a small chance it will be passed on to offspring. But although the condition is rare, many other animals, such as lions, giraffes, monkeys, and turtles, experience it as well. While the white coat makes them stand out, sometimes that's not a good thing. It's not an ad advantageous trait for a black bird to have bright white feathers. It makes them a lot more conspicuous. As long as there are no predators lurking, a conspicuous magpie is a treat for bird watchers. Well, how does it feel that you are maybe one of very few people who have ever seen one like oh, this? Pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. I didn't realize it was so rare. Kathy Lee, CTV News, Calgary. There you go.